Halloween rag read. Keep watching. Okay, so I have a thrifted 10 inch wreath. I think you can get something similar to this at Dollar Tree, if not the same thing. And I'm gonna have three different pieces of coordinating fabrics. These are, I think, just cotton fabric. And if you just start with a little snip, you can just tear a straight line all the way up your fabric. So these pieces are somewhere around an inch a piece wide and about 18 to 20 inches long. These are just scraps that I already had from projects last year. And it takes absolutely no special skill to make this wreath. It is easy but colorful and festive and the cutest thing for a farmhouse style Halloween. So we're gonna do the same thing with the other two patterns. So I have black with orange polka dots, white with what, well, orange with white polka dots. And then I have another pattern that you will see in just a minute. So I'm just taking these, removing some of the loose threads. I'm gonna put it under and pull it through the loop. You can just pull on it a little bit and it'll tighten it up around there. No need to use any glue for that. So you'll see later that you can see some of the green foam when I make the wreath. If you want this to be completely um, not seen at all, you can either paint your wreath form first or you can put your strips closer together, which would require more strips. And I did not count ahead of time, so. Yeah, I can't give you those numbers. But you just keep tearing your scraps and until you get enough. And if you don't have enough, then you just keep tearing once you get some of your pieces already on there. Okay, so the other pattern is the orange and white Harlequin. And I'm just gonna alternate with black in between the orange and white pieces. When I lay this down on the table, and I lay it in half, I am sure to have the non-pretty side up so that when I pull it through, it actually shows on the outside. Do you see the, the back side of the fabric is what you see, and I put it through, and then the pretty side is on the outside. Simple, nothing to it. You're just gonna keep doing this. There's my little witch friend. You're gonna keep doing this until you get it as full as you like. You can let those bands overlap one another or you can give them a little more space, whichever one you like. Okay, so here is the full wreath and you can see some green showing through there. That doesn't bother me at all, not one bit. As a matter of fact, once you get to playing around with the, the strips of fabric enough, you can just about cover the entire thing. See how you just slip them around because they're not glued. You can just move them down and I think it looks cute. Nothing is perfect. There's some pieces of thread sticking out. Some pieces are longer than others, but that's, that's great. It's rustic, it's country, and it's the style that I like. Okay, so now we want to put some embellishments on it. And I usually cut this part out during editing, but I want you to see my thought process and see what your options could be. The jack-o'-lantern and this bat were both pieces that were broken off of a Target um, Bullseye Playground stake from last year. And I just sanded the backs down. And um, so those would be two pieces that could be options to put on here. And I, of course, chose the bat. I think he coordinates nicely. And then this is also one of those things from Target from last year. It's like in a little, maybe metal or enamel sign. This is a 
little sign that I had forever. It used to have a base on it where you could stand it up. It's a little chalkboard sign. And then from the Dollar Tree, they have these metal signs that you could use. And these can also be painted, so that makes it um, even better if you want to coordinate your colors. So I'm just getting an idea of what might look cute, what I might like. And finally, I have decided that yes, the Spirit Lane is the sign that I want on this wreath. I'm just gonna put it down with some hot glue. You could use pipe cleaners if you wanted or any other way that you wanna fix it on there. But this is what, this is what works for me today. And I'm pressing and moving my fingers because it's very hot. That metal gets hot, so be very careful about that. You can use your little fingertips if you want to. And then this little bag of scatter came from Dollar Tree. Just little glittery um, spheres of different shapes, well, different sizes. And there's little bitty black ones. And I'm gonna use those to cover up the holes on the ends of these signs. It's almost like a little street sign. But they're barely noticeable once you get the sign, once you get the, um, the wreath hanging up. But there it is, cute as can be. If you're new, I hope you subscribe and come back and see more content. You'll be notified if you do subscribe and hit the little bell. Give me a like if you're enjoying these Halloween videos. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.